Okay, this video goes over how to use the guideline options within UMC 3D. What I'm going to do is I've got a test project loaded up and it's just currently running a simulator which uh, essentially tracks the center line. Um, what I want to be able to do is keep my blade at a certain offset to any given line. So how I do that is I go into Tools, Guideline Options, and if I'd already created those lines, um, curve lines that you could see as a guideline, I can just simply select those out of the list here at the top. So I've got this one here, curb right hand side. If I want to offset that line for any reason, I can put in an offset. I could say minus one meter, um, minus being to the left, plus to the right. Um, if I hit match, it calculates the current offset from where my blade reference point is currently to that line. So here it's telling me that I'm 4.4 meters to the left of that line right at this point in time. So I'm going to leave it at that four, um, at a four meter offset. Uh, let me go minus four. Okay, and now when we back out of here, you can see it's telling me that I need to go to the right 0.41 of a meter to get onto my line and you can see that that guideline now appears here so this is the line that I was following this this blue line here is the offset line that's now four meters to the left of this line and my blade is currently sitting in here and if we zoom in a little bit you'll be able to see that that's your 400 mil offset just in here The next option is to be able to maybe go and pick one of those lines off the screen because sometimes these line files may not have been created in your design data. So the way we're going to do that is go to Tools and again into Guideline Options. But what I'm going to do now is pick a polyline, which is a continuous uh, line, um, out of any of our geo files. So I have this one here called Road Edges. Now if I go pick poly line, it brings up a plan view of all of those road edges and I'm going to choose this line here. <coughs> Oops. Uh, let me choose actually, I'll cancel that one. I'm going to choose this one here. And now I'm going to select that line and here I can give it a name. So <coughs> I'm going to curl it um, curb right hand side <coughs> and go enter. And if I now go save and use, it's going to now save that line file for me. And I can select that now out of the list at the top. I can put in any offset I want. So I'm going to say minus 3 meters this time. And now when I escape out of there, uh, what have I got here? tools, guideline options. Okay, here's my line here. It's giving me now this 1.4 meter offset to get onto that line. Um, and I can change to whatever view I want. If I want to just see it just in the section view, I can do that. That's the center line here. This here is my guideline. And it's calculated from the current blade reference point, which is where this cross is here. If you want to change that for any reason, you can go into Tools, Blade Settings, and change your blade reference point from being the right hand side to now being the left hand side. Now if I escape out here, you can see now here's my uh, blade reference point and it's telling me now that I've got to go 5.2 meters from the left hand to get the left hand edge onto my guideline. 